sea foam looks like, the bottle. Yeah, sea foam. Comes in Spanish directions as well for you Spanish speakers out there. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have to get find the vacuum hose, which I looked up. And this is the vacuum hose right here. And we're going to take this uh, crush clamp off and do that. Might be caked on there, you know. Alright, we're gonna this might pull it off. It's really hot. It's a little bit on the hot side. We ran the car, because that's what you want. I mm. think it's easier to take a screwdriver flathead and kind of like push it off a little bit. It's, it's a little bit stuck here. We need a flathead. We need a flathead to pull it off. We're using the screwdriver. Slightly push it from the other side, and there you go. Came right off. All right, we're gonna put the hose on now. It's a little tough. Get on. It's good enough. And there we go. It's on enough uh, to create suction. And when we start the car, Gonna it's going to create suction, and we're going to use this as we uh, pour um, the sea foam in. You're going to have a helper in the car with rubbing it. We're going to have a helper in the car, Keeping which will be me or him. Pour and, it too fast, it'll die. And if you pour it too fast, it'll die. This is a horrible day. We're going to pour half of the uh, sea foam into the gas tank. I'm just using a screwdriver to hold it open, the little have a long tab, funnel. because we don't have a long enough funnel. So, it always helps if you have two people, as you can see here, about half the can almost. We're just estimating, you don't have to really measure it out. Good enough? I think so. Alright, and that will clean out my, uh, my engine that way also. All right, here we go. You can put it in the crank. Start the car now and uh, see how this goes. You don't have to. There you go. All right, he's gonna keep it rev while I start pouring it in. Alright, you ready? Smokes! That was a lot of a lot of it. <laughs> Smoke everywhere. Now, now we got We got You gotta let it sit. 10 15 minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes. So go have coffee. Yep. Go have coffee or something. Or, or an hour case. Cigar. We're going to Smoke a uh, take this off. There we go. And we can work on the other car while we do that. So we connect wait and connect, uh, connect the vacuum line. Connect the vacuum line back up. Pliers to put the crush clamp back on. And we're good to go. Yep. Nice. Grab it. Yeah! 
Game over, that's it. <laughs> for a ride now. All right. It didn't smoke as much as I thought it would. All right. A little bit. All right. I'm going to stop it right here. we are. No check, no engine, check light. engine lights. Had a little bit of a hard time starting it up, but it seems like it's all clear. Didn't have that much blockage. The engine's running much better already. This is a good sign, of course. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Driver. Action yeah. shot, action shot. Oh boy. We're in the taco truck. Oh, look at all the smoke coming out the back. I didn't realize that. Oh, oh air is smoke coming out of the back. There's still smoke coming out, so oh boy. We're good. If I you see. stop, you could see the. Uh, We took off the, uh, we're going to clean the throttle body. Throttle, body, throttle body. Wow, I can't even talk now. We took off the hose that goes to here the to the throttle body. And it's pretty dirty in there. Not that you can see it, it seems like. Eh, not going to focus with the light. But uh, it's pretty dirty in there. So we're going to clean that out using see. this stuff. It should work pretty well, we'll see. So we're going to use step B in the directions of the can, uh, which is having the uh, air intake uh, off, the pipe off, so and the engine off also. And we're going to clean it manually with the rag, and then we're going to spray the throttle body cleaner, which is right here, into it, and um, replace everything, put everything back, and uh, start up the engine. So we're manually uh, opening the butterfly and using the clock to uh, clean it out because it seems very dirty in there, as you can tell by the cloth. Again, this is a 2004 Volkswagen Jetta. It's a 2.0 engine, four-cylinder. How many miles? I got 58,000 miles on this car. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. The engine's very clean. I take care of it very well. I always try to do the little extra stupid things that people think are stupid but are not. Because when you have that in there, your idle can run very bad. And it just performance wise, it, it's, not, uh, it's not good. Alright, so. We burnt, yeah, you save a lot more gas too. All right, we um, manually cleaned it out now, and we're gonna use the throttle body cleaner and spray it in there. We're uh, starting to clean out all the parts of the throttle body, which uh, was that air hose. It's good to keep the car warm when you're doing this. Have a nice warm engine, so you can clean it up. It comes out easier when it's, it's warmer. Easier. It's like when you're changing the oil, you want to have a hot engine. What is that? It's just so to keep the animals out. There's a, a freaking squirrel that sits right over here on my engine. And I just put a piece of cardboard there and he doesn't come there anymore. <laughs> yeah, he was eating my wires. Little bastard. I had all these wires here. I had to... I had a re-splice and... Uh, what I hate about these cans that don't have stick a... Stick it in there. What do you hate about those hose. cans? You just lose the hose all the time. Little straw. Straws, yeah. Annoying. This is one I... We got a uh, little catching tool thing here that we have uh, a rag attached to. Just to help get in there wipe and it up a little bit. wipe it up a little bit and... Holding the... Holding the butterfly open. While we do that, just to get all the stuff on the bottom, really, really, you want to, if you can, just take the whole body throttle, throttle body off, throttle body but off. But I don't have the uh, we right, don't have the proper uh, tool to take tool it off. To of take, 
Yeah, you need a torque for a 2004 Volkswagen Jetta, and it looks like that. And also, it's a, it. it's a good idea to change the, the gasket here. Yeah, it was when a gasket. That. And in this case, it really isn't right necessary to do that. You know, I did it for the Honda. It was a little bit of overkill, and I don't think I, I may or may not do that. All right? All right, cool. Now just let it sit for a little bit. Put everything back together, start it up. Running around the block for at least two minutes, one or two minutes, or longer. And uh, we'll see how that goes in a few minutes. We're sticking it back on. Pretty simple. Came off pretty easy. It's going back on pretty easily. You want to make sure you put all the hoses that you put back up, took off. No shit. Otherwise, it won't run right. You'll know right away. Yep. You'll know right away. <laughs> Make sure everything's back on. You can put all the clamps on. Crush clamps. Crush clamps. And it'd be a good idea to put regular clamps on there. If they recommend that. But, I mean, I don't see the point if it still springs back just fine. Yeah. I mean, if they were all rusted and shit, probably yeah, would replace them. In this case, that. it's not. It's like almost brand new. Yep. The Honda had these too, but... But I you got them. a lot more miles on your car yeah. than I do. <laughs> I hate these clamps. Yeah, here's a bigger one. I just can't really get it in there. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Put it on that side and yeah, 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 there you go. God damn it, I can do it from this angle. Oh, I don't want to do it from another angle. Eh, a little bit of cursing always helps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll go back to that one. <laughs> That's what happens when you have oil all over your hands. It's not fun. Right now, make sure all make the tools are out. Yeah, get all the tools out, all the hoses minutes. on. After all the sensors, it helped on. a big difference. Where's that pliers? Using this kind of pliers with these kind of clamps made a big difference. Crush clamps. The crush clamps instead if you of can, if you have uh, garden hose clamps, use them. So we made sure all the sensors are back, so no check engine lights come on. All the hoses that we did, all the clamps are on. So now we're gonna start her up and check engine our... light may stay on for a bit while the uh, the liquid runs through the system, the intake. So and it'll it should go away. And if it stays on longer than like a few hours or whatever, then. You can reset it with That's a check. It. You can set it with the uh, reset it with the computer. And I have one of the little computers that you plug in. OBD two, or that too. All computer right. plugs in there. 